Hello and welcome to Creating with Shannon. I am Shannon and today we are going to create a fun little banner. Um, let me share my screen and I'll show what I'm talking about. So these are come in a kit of three and they come like this. It's um, HDF and they're really solid, but I went ahead and I applied a coat of, where is it? I used acrylic primer by Pentart. You can use white paint, chalk paint, acrylic paint, whatever you want, but this is just a primer because when you put your decoupage medium down or your paper down, you want the design to pop. So um, I went ahead and did that step so we didn't have to waste time with that. All right, so I want to show you the papers that we're going to be using today. Um, it's a little... It's by LTD Collection, and it's six sheets of mini rice papers. Now, I was given to this when I went and visited Teresa up at Decoupage Queen in Atlanta, and I just love these little papers, so I had to get them. Let me show you what they look like. So here, look at these little teddy bears. How cute are they? Let me see if I can put that up. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, Tanganyika. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but hello and thank you for joining today. Okay, so we have this teddy bear. This one's got with stockings. Hey, Cheryl. Um, and then this, look at this cute little teddy bear by the tree. Oh, and then we have a pair of lighter colored teddy bears in front of the fireplace in the tree. Seems to be quite the theme of teddy bears in front of the fireplace in the tree. And look at this little guy. This guy's just in front of a tree, but he's got on like a little pink bow. Oh, and look at this one. Love the red. The hardest part is for me to be able to pick three of these to go on these. And then this guy with the, has a little dining room in the background and it looks like the porch and then the tree. Um, hey, Gloria. Welcome. So... By looking at these, I'm going to lay them all out, and I'm going to kind of just pick the ones that I want to do, which I would love to be able to do all of them. I guess if I had three more of these little pieces, I could, but I don't. But maybe I'll save the other ones for, hey, Kathy, um, if I do decide I want to add them. So I kind of want to stay in the same color theme. So when I'm decorating, it stays. It's easier um, so I really, my favorite one is, I really, really like this guy. I don't know why, but he's just too cute. He's got that cute little face. So we're going to start, we're going to use this guy for sure. And I think he blends well with, I like this one too. Um, though the red, they don't really blend that well. Uh, maybe this guy instead. These two brown ones match pretty good. And then, yeah, maybe we'll go this. And I'll say these three for another time all right so let me show you the three that i have here so they're kind of all in the same color scheme with the the brown teddy bear all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put them on these little pieces of wood now i could totally decoupage them on like this and then use my sander to you know, trim the edges, but what I'm going to do really quick instead, because sometimes it's really hard to get in that little edge. Oh, you do have these papers. Aren't they so sweet? Have you used them yet? I've been wanting to create with these papers, but I just haven't had the right, I didn't have the right idea. And then when I remember that I had these little, this little bunting stuff, I, I just knew I had to put it on here because they're so cute. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water. I'm just going to trace my edge. What that's going to do is just going to make me be able to tear this paper. There we go. So when I go to decoupage it, it'll just be a little easier. And I won't really have to sand. Because I've already painted it white, it's going to blend. The edges will blend well. <coughs> but adding that water just makes it tear so easy. All right, let's see what it looks like. There we go. Ta-da! So, um, 
I will still have a little bit of the edges around here, but I'll just probably decoupage medium that down. Now look how cute that is. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other ones prepared. Uh, da -da -da. So, um, there we go. I'm really excited. I'm flying with my family out to Arizona tomorrow. Um, my oldest son qualified for the Barstool Classic. It's a golf tournament. I'm sure you probably have, some of you have heard of Barstool Classic or Barstool Sports. So he qualified for that back in April, of beginning of the year. So we are going to the actual finals, which is in Arizona this weekend. So I'm very excited about that. Ta -da. It's going to be a little chilly compared to Florida, even though today was kind of chilly. It's out of sorts for Florida. But every once in a while, it's so nice to have a little bit cooler weather. <laughs> it's a break. It's a nice break from 85 degrees. Sometimes the heat gets monotonous, but I know I'd rather be hot than cold. For some reason, when you're hot, you can step into your conditioning. You can jump in the pool. But when you're cold, sometimes there's just no warming up. I know that because I grew up up north in the snow and we'd go sledding and stuff as a kid. And once you're cold, even when you come back into the heat, you're, you're cold. It's harder to warm up. Whoopsies. There we go. I missed a little spot with the water so it didn't tear perfectly. So I'm going to go back and get that. So see right here? I missed it a little bit with the water and then let's go back and tear it. There we go. Okay, so I have a little bit of a glare here. So I'm just going to take one of these cute little papers and cover that up because it's going to drive me crazy. There we go. We'll put him over here. Now the fun part. Let's go ahead and we are going to put these on. And today I'm going to be using the decoupage glue, the ultra matte. Um, and this is my first time using this. Normally I just use the regular. I like the matte. Sometimes I'll use the silky shine. It just depends on the look that I'm going for. But this is an ultra matte. So I wanted to see what this is going to look like. Actually, it won't even really matter because I'm going to be using some iridescent varnish on top. So <laughs> we won't even see the finished look of the ultra matte. It's beautiful there when it says, oh, really? Oh man. Snow, I could do snow for like a week and then I'd probably be over it and need to be back to the sun. <laughs> I guess because I've lived in Florida since I was 15 that I am just so used to, um, just so used to the weather and the climate here. I'm not used to it being very cold. But what I do miss is snow on Christmas day. It just doesn't seem like Christmas when it's, you know, 85 degrees outside. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And you can see that I have a little bit of the fibers because rice paper is a lot sturdier and thicker than like napkins. So the fibers, I can just pull them off though. The fibers is what makes the paper so thick and sturdy. I'm just going to go ahead and glue them down. I'm going to be painting over the edge anyway, so it won't matter about this. And when it's hanging on the wall, you're not even going to see the back. But if I'm really worried about the back, I can always paint it. I know there's people out there that team paint the back and there's others that are team don't paint the back. <laughs> Mine, I do, um, on a case by case basis. Like if I feel like it might be vis visible, then I'll definitely go ahead and do it. But if it's something that's not gonna be seen, I don't really do it. Okay, so look how cute the teddy bear. Let me get closer. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and do the next ones. Nada and cats. Oh, I love that, Nada and cats. Hi, welcome. Thank you for the video. You are welcome. Guess what? I took three years of German in high school. <laughs> So I know what Dunko means. I'm probably not saying it, you know, 100% accurate, but I remember 
ambition. <laughs> Just a little of it. All right. So again, I'm just using the ultra matte decoupage glue, and this is by Pentart. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Pentart and all their awesome products that they offer. I am a Pentart aholic. <laughs> I use Pentart all the time. Okay, so I want to just get the edges where they're fraying over the edge. Now I was gifted these papers, but I love these teddy bears. So I'm going to have to check the LTD collection and see if I can find more teddy bears. I would love to have these in a little bit bigger size too. They're just too cute. I'm Oops. A little stray piece of paper. All right, make sure I get all the edges down. I didn't decoupage the top yet because like I said, I'm gonna use a different varnish over the top. See, there's two of them done. Look how cute they are. <laughs> okay, let's do the last one. And I'm just applying just a nice even coat. Sometimes when you have too much decoupage medium in one area, that's where your bubbles come. And generally I'll use cellophane, but this is such a small project and such a small piece that there's really no wrinkles here. So there's really no need for the cellophane. Oops. For some reason I left it a little long. There we go. All right, let me get the edges. Now there are so many different things that we could do to these. There's fine line crackle, there is um, adding the sparkling gel, the wax paste, adding some molds, ribbons. All right, let me get that down. All right, so let me show you the, f they're all done, all three of them. Look how adorable they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Love them. Okay, so now to, you always want to make sure you put another layer of um, the decoupage medium so it stays. But what I'm going to use instead is I'm going to use the varnish. I'm going to use, it's called Chameleon Varnish by Pentart. And this way it comes in three different colors. It comes in brass, gold, and silver. I'm going to be doing the gold. I think the gold will look really pretty over this. So let's go ahead and do that. So it goes on white, but when it dries, it'll leave, um, since I chose gold, it'll have like a gold iridescent look to it. Shiny. I'm going to actually pick it up and maybe you'll be able to see some of the gold. You see in the gold yet? I can see it here, but also I have a really close view here. Again, I'm going to get the edges just to make sure that I have all those little fibers down. And again, if, if I have a piece that sticks out, I'll just sand it after it dries. Okay, can you see the, see the little shimmer? Yeah, there you go. All right, let's do the other ones. Whoops. Again, I'm using, this is iridescent gold. So the glue is the white, but it's got very, very fine pieces of gold glitter in here. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm giving it a nice, even coat over the whole entire piece. Yes, you said stir it. I shook it. Same thing. Um, sometimes I'll even take my brush and go down. But once it's stirred or shook, it's pretty good. Now, 
there's some things, and that's actually a really good question, uh, Cheryl. Um, when you're using like a primer or a bonding agent, like a, or a, like a, let me see, I have one here. Uh, where is it? Do I have it? Here it goes. Like this bonding primer or slick stick by Dixie Bell, anything or boss, something like that. You definitely, definitely want to stir because there's a heavier body that um, needs to mix and shaking is not going to get that done. But since this is just simply glitter, very light, you can shake it. Let me make sure I get all the edges. But look, see, can you see the, you can, yes, you can kind of see it. It's, there we go. See the gold? But it's just enough. We didn't want to put too much on because we don't want it to be overpowering. We just want it to be subtle. So when it's hanging and the light catches it just right, you'll see just a little, a little glimpse, a little sparkle. All right. <clears throat> oh, look how pretty. I just absolutely adore these. Now, sometimes I'll go back and I'll add um, some sparkling gels. Like, I want to show you something, if I have it handy right here. I did a, um, I'm working, I have a class that I am teaching, the Altered Book. I just wrapped it up, but I was showing them how you can get uh, your papers to be elevated a little bit. Let me see, let me just grab this real quick. Um, where's my little book? So this is the paper. I'm not going to show you how I did it, um, but I want to show you what I did. Now, where is my little book? Da, da, da. I always clear my workspace when I'm getting ready to go live. So sometimes when I clear my workspace, I just kind of get everything out of the camera view. So I don't really know sometimes where I put. Oh, here it is. Now, I just want to show you the difference. Now see this paper? Gorgeous paper, Nativity. But look what I did by just using a few of the Pentart products. See how we were able to just bring it alive? Isn't that amazing? Same paper. That's just a ribbon. Same paper, but just with a little bit of shimmer and different products from Pentart. It really brings the paper to life. So that's what I really, really like to do. But that video, I can't share because that is in the paid, the paid class. But anyway. Um, what I want to do now is, I know this has to dry, so we want, I have all these pretty ribbons. Like when I ordered from Decoupage Queen, I order all the time. <laughs> I got, I just got an abundance of all these different pretty little ribbons. And I do sell these on my website, but I just got these in and I haven't had a chance to, um, get all of them on there. But I did, this is the one I normally get, this kind right here. It's cute all, right? But this was the first time, look, I ordered this one. I'm gonna get so much more. Look at this beautiful ribbon. I don't remember if it comes in a lot of different colors or if it just came in the red, but look at how beautiful this is. Now, wouldn't this be really cute to be used on this banner? So I think I'm gonna use this. Hey, Cheryl, do you, oh, are you talking about the difference of the paper? Um, from when just adding a few things to make it shimmer. It's, it's amazing how you can take a few little things and just elevate it. But that's what I talked about in the, um, the book class. All right, so I'm going to just poke a little hole because I want to be able to stick my ribbon through here. The paper's still wet, but I want to go ahead and get that the hole here now because it'll be a lot easier to poke the hole when it's wet than when it's dry. Now the question is, is should I have the ribbon coming in front or to hang the ribbon just from here to here? It's such a pretty ribbon. I don't normally do a lot of these kind of projects with the banners, so I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to get this thicker ribbon <laughs> through. I'm sure I can figure it out. All right. Let me get the glue off my fingers so the ribbon doesn't stick. Do you? What do you guys think? you think this ribbon's the right color for it? Isn't it pretty? Like in between it? Or even just on the sides just to tie it up? 
Oh, Cheryl, absolutely. You can still sign up. Everything though now is all um, going to be on replay, but there's a private group and you can watch it in, at your convenience. There's three different videos. I walk you through the beginning of the book, how to decorate the, how we decorated two different books. And then I sh then the second, excuse me, the third video is how to do the back and how to elevate it by like what I just showed you with that one paper. Okay. Um, so I think the white is just too boring. It, I mean, it's pretty and it does really match, but I think we want to use some red to kind of bring out the colors. I need to kind of decide on the arrangement, how I want to put them. Um, I think that looks good. So that way the green is on the end. It like, it kind of like bookmarks it in. Now, if I put a knot and a knot here, or do I just use one long string? Oh, I think I'm going to do the knot one. I think I'm going to try that. And if that doesn't work, I'll do, um, I'll do it the other way. All right. So let's see if I can get this ribbon through here. I need my glasses because I'm getting uh, blind in my old age. All right, so I think I'm gonna try to use the end of this paintbrush to stick the ribbon through. That, no, the paintbrush is too thick. Let me see if I can find something skinnier. I'll try this. It might poke a hole through the ribbon. We'll try it though. Ah, oh, it's gonna work just fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie a knot. I don't know where, I must have seen it somewhere. Let's see what it looks like. So tie a knot here and then tie a knot on this one here and then do it here again. Let's see what that looks like. And then again, if we don't like it, we can simply start all over again. All right. Let's try this. Stick this through. I'm trying to be very gentle because the paper is still wet. Normally I would definitely wait but since we're on the live and I want to do this with you guys. Oh, I just saw a shadow outside. Okay. And then I kind of just need to decide how far apart I want it to be. Um, I think that's probably pretty good. So I'm going to tie a knot here. Every time I touch the paper, my hands get sticky again. <laughs> there we go. So the ribbon, that's really cute. And then of course I'll tie it on each side. Different um, as opposed to, I guess if I would have ran it through, it wouldn't went across, which would be really, really cute too, but we're going to go with this way. The good news is that I sell these little wood kits so I can do it. I can make, I can do it both ways. <laughs> All right, tie a little knot. So anyway, my trip, I get back Wednesday night. So I should be back in time. I should be able to go live again. Like I promised every Thursday, I did miss Thanksgiving, but I'm sure nobody would have been watching anyway. And Then I fly back out. I have to go to North Carolina Friday. So I'll be home for one day and I have to leave again. It's things are just crazy right now, but I don't like missing these lives because I love creating and having fun like this. All right. So I'm going to try my best to keep it the same distance because that would not be cool if it was uneven. So with the ribbon, I can always untie it and adjust it to make sure that it's the same distance. 
All right, come on. And I suppose I could have measured, but that's just not me. <laughs> not me. Okay, so there we go so far. And yeah, you know, it's cute. Probably would have been cuter with the ribbon running through it, maybe. Um, you guys are at a different angle because I can see the ribbon where it's kind of sticking out with the knots. So that adds a little bit more to it than just it's sitting down like this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I can either put white on the edge to hang it up. I think I need to stay with the red. I like the red. So I'm going to take some more of this beautiful red. And I will measure this time. Well, kind of. I'm just going to take it and fold it in half. And that way each piece will be the exact same for the size. <clears throat> Let's stick this through. Come on. So did everybody have a nice Thanksgiving? I hope so. We had a great one. Um, my sister, her family couldn't come like they normally do, but we still had lots of other family, which was a lot of fun. And this was the first year that I cheated. <laughs> I normally cook everything by hand. I brine the turkey. I do everything that soak. This year, I ordered from Publix. I cannot tell a lie. I ordered from Publix. I did have to heat everything up, but it, well, I did make the green bean casserole from from scratch but other than that I everything was from Publix and you know what it wasn't bad because the most important thing about Thanksgiving is really just having family and being together anyway <laughs> but I did miss well I missed the thought of brining my turkey and um, cooking it all day I always make a Martha Stewart maple bacon or maple uh, maple glazed and so I did add a little bit of syrup to the pre-cooked Publix one. It just wasn't the same, but it was still good. Of course, my youngest teased me about not doing it. But sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And this year it was <laughs> the turkey. Okay, one more knot, and then we should be able to... I should be able to hang it up and show you what it looks like. I just want, don't want the knot to be too big. There we go. Ta-da! So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn um, the camera around to just me solo. Okay, and now I'm going to hold it up and you can see it. See with the knots? Okay, this one over here, I'm going to have to trim that down just a little bit. But look how cute the knots are. See, so sideways. And the straight, they stick out a little bit too far. And I, all I have to do is just trim them, but look at how cute that it is. See the little teddy bears, and you can see the little shimmer. It's not, it's not a lot, but it's enough. There's one more thing I have to do because, um, oh, I'm glad, Kathy. Good, I'm glad you had one. Cheryl, you too. Um, one thing that I do on everything, I think you guys know this by now. What is my go-to product that I always use? <laughs> Gold wax paste. I love it. I can't, I can't not use it. So we're going to just go ahead and just do the edges. I don't want to use, they do have the fire red, which is pretty. And they do have the red, which to me looks pink. But um, I, I don't want to take away the red from in here or the ribbon. So that's why I am going to use gold. Gold is always safe. It's a lot of work. We did a pie day. Ooh, Keisha breakfast, chicken pot pie, supper, and pumpkin in between. Very nice. I love it. Okay, so I'm just dipping my finger into the wax paste. And I'm just going to go around the edge. Whoops. Just to give it just enough. This wax paste is almost gone. I use it so much that... And you could also use a darker color, like maybe um, a brown. But I don't know. I'm just partial to this gold for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But see? Look how pretty that is. And see the difference between these two? The gold and the no gold? 
it just adds just another little bit of uh, flair or just adds a little bit to it. It like frames it in. Okay, I've made a mess. Okay, let me go ahead and continue on the other, the other ones. You can use a paintbrush for this too. I just like to use my finger because it creates an, an uneven, an uneven look, but I still feel like I have more control with my finger than I do with the paintbrush. I don't know why, that's probably crazy, but that's just the way I like to do it. So pretty that is, just framed in with the gold. Details, yes. Cheryl, you know details matter for sure. Okay. And when, when this dries, if I don't feel like there's enough of the glitter varnish on here, I can always add another coat. But from what I see, looking at it close like this, it looks it looks really pretty. I'll have to take pictures and post. There we go. So see, just, let me get that other. What a little bit of gold can do, it can just elevate your, I'm just trying to cover that glare. Maybe we'll do it this way. There we go. Well, it's still there. I'm trying to figure out a way to cover, to get rid of the glare but still be able to use my glass mat. So what do you think? Do you love it? <laughs> okay, so basically um, for the next 10 days, my website, I'm gonna be shutting it down. There'll be no ordering just because I won't be around to fill it. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can get some of these teddy bear papers. Of course I have everything else. I have the ribbon, I have all that. Um, but again, I'm going to shut it down for like 10 days and then I will reopen it back up. It's just because I won't be here to fulfill, fulfill your orders and I just feel guilty about that. So um, uh, I do want to say thank you for joining me and I hope you love this little cute banner. Um, anybody that sells pent art or decoupage queen, they probably have these. If you, uh, I have a friend, Michaela. She's a paint fixation. She probably has them. There's a bunch of people. You can go to the... Re the um, decoupage queen retailer site and they'll tell you who all has them but um if you are interested you can always email me and then when i get back i can i'll mail everything right out to you but um i just want to say thank you again for joining me i love doing this kind of stuff um have a great weekend and i will be back next week after my trip to arizona with my family and my son because he is going to go kick some butt in a golf tournament, I hope. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, I'll always have my phone, so I always check Facebook. If you have any questions, DM me um, or YouTube. You can leave me a message there.